Cicadas have pretty interesting lives. They spend most of their time chilling, relaxing, eating underground, and then they emerge for a few weeks to chatter as loudly as they can about love. Well, about mating at least. But it turns out one of the most interesting things about a cicada is something you can't see. And it's inspiring some pretty cool medical technology. Let's understand the basics of a cicada's life. What does their lifespan look like? A female cicada will create a small hole in the branch of a tree or a shrub, and she'll lay her eggs in it. One and a half to two and a half months later, the eggs will hatch, and from them will emerge nymphs. The newly hatched cicadas will make their way underground and then attach to the roots of plants, where they'll suck on the sap and eat. This is called their dormant period, and depending on the species, can last anywhere from two to 17 years. After the dormant period, the cicadas will emerge above ground. They'll attach to a tree, molt, and then spend the last five weeks of their lives as adults. Males will make a buzzing noise to attract a mate, and females can reply with a clicking noise. After they've mated, females will lay eggs and the process will begin again. Cicada species are broken into the categories of annual and period. Period species emerge en masse all at once, after 13 or 17 years. Annual species, in contrast, appear in small batches throughout the whole summer. But how are cicadas inspiring medical technology? It turns out it's through their wings. What's special about a cicada's wings is that they're covered in cone-shaped nanopillars, and these nanopillars attract bacteria. When the bacteria comes in contact with the cicada's wing, it's attracted to the nanopillars and will begin to stretch so that it can come into contact with as many of them as possible and then pop. It'll burst, literally from stretching itself too thin. What's interesting is that this only works on gram-negative bacteria, the type of bacteria that most commonly carry illnesses. Gram-positive bacteria have a stiff outer coating, which prevents them from stretching and bursting. Nanopillars aren't just important to cicadas. Researchers at the University of Illinois at Urbana-Champaign and the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers Construction Engineering Research Laboratory are working to create replicas of these cone-shaped nanopillars and apply them to the inside of medical technology. Having these nanopillars coating something like a respirator would prevent the buildup of bacteria and hopefully reduce infections in hospitals. The potential applications of these cone-shaped nanopillars are far-reaching. Antimicrobial technology is at the top of mind for researchers and for consumers alike. So who knows where we'll see this interesting mechanical feature in the future. Hi, this is Denise from C2ST. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, please make sure to follow, like, and subscribe. Also, be sure to hit the bell icon so you'll be notified when a new video is posted. Doing all of this makes sure that our videos are more visible to other STEM enthusiasts on YouTube.